guys, what's going on? Just want to do a video talking about the huge news that just dropped tonight involving Olivier Saar and Jacob Toppin becoming immediately eligible for the 2020-21 basketball season. And before I get into that, my thoughts on that overall, just want to apologize for the lack of uploads the last couple weeks. I've just been very busy with a lot of school stuff, but I will be getting back to a lot of uploads here in the coming weeks. And obviously with the, with the basketball season starting kind of soon, there'll be a lot more live streams, uploads coming out then, obviously with that happening. But then also the reaction videos are 100% coming. I just wanted to mention that because I have been promising that for a while now, but they are still there and there's just honestly hours and hours of footage to show you guys so just want to let you guys know about that also before i get into like my thoughts on what's happened tonight just want to give a quick shout out to mick a uk reactions contributor who helped me figure out this information tonight he was the first one to break the news to me so just want to give a shout out to him because he's definitely been a very uh important part of the channel he's going to become an even more important part of the channel as the reactions come out here in the coming hopefully in the coming months you first move post him up that's bullshit what the fuck but my initial reaction to both players becoming eligible for next season is that I'm extremely excited because obviously if you've watched my videos on this channel, I've had Olivier Saar firmly in my starting five and he was also my X factor for this coming season's team. So getting him eligible and ready to play this year and just cleared and ready to go, it's just very, very exciting to me. And it's, it's probably gonna propel us into probably the top five preseason, which I mean, that's like every single season now, but without a doubt, because I saw some people, some clowns out there had us at like 17 or like 17 through 25 or some people actually had us out of the top 25. But now now that we've had Olivier Saar and Jacob Toppin firmly put back into the mix for this coming season's team, without a doubt, we're definitely a top five team. But anyways, though, you, you know my thoughts about the rankings, though, before January, February anyways. So it's not like I really care about that. But still, it's kind of stupid to see some of the, the reactions if we didn't have them playing or not. Because even without Olivier Saar and Jacob Toppin, we're still probably a top ten team. But anyways, though, that's besides the point. Getting Olivier Saar eligible for this coming season is just huge news. Because as I've stated in the video when he first committed to us, his player efficiency rating, which I once again, I had not really known about the stat until probably when he had, when he had committed because I just read about it. Olivier Saar's player efficiency rating was 26.1, which was higher than anyone on last year's team. And honestly, the only person that was actually higher than him was Carl Anthony Towns in the 2014-15 season. So that's saying a lot if Olivier Saar's name is right there next to Carl Anthony Towns. Now, I'm not saying that he's going to be Towns, but that player efficiency rating was showing that he could possibly be in that area of execution and just how he plays on the floor. So getting Olivier Saar for next season is absolutely huge news, and it's definitely going to give us a major weapon to use for not only just scoring the ball, but protecting the rim, and also just a very, uh, veteran-like player because he's going to be a senior not not a grad transfer not like a red shirt senior or anything like that but still an actual senior that will be hopefully leading our younger bigs because Olivier Saar is the only senior player and our only other bigs on this on next year's team are going to be Lance Ware, Isaiah Jackson, and Cameron Fletcher so Olivier Saar is going to be a big time player for next year's team being a veteran and also having a lot of experience he's a very talented player then also getting to Jacob Toppin this one was also very quite surprising to me because a lot of the information I was reading and understanding on his on his case was that without a doubt he was not going to play this coming season it was and it was also like I thought that was kind of like the idea when he committed a few months ago was that he would just join the team just like practice with the team all season long and then join actually like actually playing for the team in the 2021-22 season so getting him involved as, as well puts us at 11 total players which is definitely a pretty ideal number I always like to have like 11 to 12 so the fact that we're at 11 right now is just extremely comforting and I just feel like it's definitely good news to have both players involved also with Jacob Toppin there's a video on Twitter showing him to get a lob pass from Davion Mintz which I knew that Jacob Toppin was going to be a solid player. I mean, you don't just commit to Kentucky without being a solid player. But this play just shows how athletic and how I really think he could fit into this team, maybe even this coming season, because this team's going to be flying around the court, throwing a lot of lobs in a very, very high-paced game, I think. That's my opinion for how this team should play this year, which that'll be a later video coming on the channel. Like, the way he got this lob, you'll see the video I'll play in the background right now. He just looks like he's definitely, he's a lot further along than I thought he really was. Now, he obviously, in my opinion, needs to actually, like, bulk up and get a lot stronger before he can actually really be an impactful player for our team. But seeing this video gave me a lot of confidence that he could definitely contribute possibly as soon as next season. It was also kind of cool to see their reaction on Twitter to this news happening because Olivier Starr tweeted out a video of him like looking down at the ground and looking up saying Kentucky and then something in French which I don't really know exactly what it is but it sounds like it's let's party or let's get this thing going but no matter what it was very cool to see that and I'm definitely going to use that possibly for a coming hype video on this channel so stay tuned for that. And then for Jacob Toppin he also just said I'm ready in response to him becoming eligible for the season so my excitement is through the roof right now. I can't wait for the season to start. I really hope that we can get started. I know the season's been pushed back farther than what, than what it was supposed to be but let's just get the season started because this team in my opinion has every piece that, that it needs to compete for its ninth national championship because I've said a thousand times before we are well overdue to get this title because all these pictures here obviously this wasn't a championship season I'm gonna look but anyways, though, that's my thoughts on the whole situation. Stay tuned for a lot more uploads to come in the coming weeks. And like I said, we'll be getting back to a lot of live streams, hopefully a weekly live stream before the season starts, but definitely once the season starts as well. But anyways, though, thanks for watching, guys. That's my thoughts on this. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of this, of this information. And, and thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Go Big Blue.